So research in MPNs has really been moving at an extremely fast pace over the last few years. Just over the past few years, we've seen advances in nearly every aspect of MPN care, from diagnosis to risk stratification to MPN treatment to supportive care. Um, we've even seen two new drugs approved for MPN treatment over the past year. Um, the first was Ropeg interferon alpha 2b or BESREMI approved for polycythemia vera in December 2021. And the most recent was Picritinib for patients with myelofibrosis with low platelets approved in, uh, in February of 2022. So there have been lots of exciting improvements very recently, and I think very many more to come over the next few years, but there's still a long ways to go. Um, some un unmet needs in the field still include um, challenges in treating uh, patients with low blood counts, either anemia or thrombocytopenia, low platelets. Both of those are still challenging clinical situations. Um, also the situation when JAK inhibitors either don't work well enough for a patient or stop working over time, that's a situation that's very challenging as well. Fortunately, we have a lot of uh, clinical trials and new investigations going on in both of those areas in patients with low blood counts and patients who have had in inadequate or loss of response to JAK inhibitors. So stay tuned over the next year or two. I think we'll see major changes in both of those areas.